Hey YouTube, it's Crystal, and today I'm bringing to you my November 2015 favorites. Um, I have a little one in the background, of course, who wants to say hi. <laughs> say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, today I'm just going to run through my favorites really quickly. Um, I don't want to take up too much time because I'm trying to leave out before game time is over. The Redskins are playing, and they're playing at home. So that's traffic for me when I try to leave out. Um, no, wait a minute. Um, the two brushes I want to start off with is the Morphe E1, which I've been using for powder. Um, I use it in combination with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Powder, which I use today. Um, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, which looks like this. And I use this, swipe it around, and then dust it all over my face and it's very very soft it's dense so it really can buff the powder into your skin um and then also i wanted to mention the wayne goss number 13 brush i would have to say this is probably my overall most favorite brush of all time because you can use it for so many different things you can use it for liquids you can use it for powders different thing cream products so it's a universal brush and everybody always talks about how much Wayne Goss brushes cost but if you can use them with multiple products then you're getting your money's worth is how I look at it or my opinion but yeah this is the Wayne Goss number 13 brush and it's amazing I used it for to buff out my concealer today because I haven't been wearing too much makeup because my skin has been constantly fighting everything I try to put on it and it's it's sickening and so I've been using concealer the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer that whole long drawn out name on my face for like foundation and it does pretty good with coverage and you could probably layer it of some sort I feel like you got it so far away so I'm gonna zoom in some more so I've been using that um and I use this to like buff it out all over the face and I, I love it the Wayne Goss number 13 brush Moving right along, um, lip products I wanted to mention. This baby right here is what I'm wearing on my lips today, and it's the Lipland Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick, the collaboration they did with Emrezi. Um, and this is the color Montenegro. I love this. It's just, it's the perfect color. I will say that it takes a long time for it to dry. So if you plan on going out to eat, I went out to eat one night with it on. It got everywhere. The napkin, the straw, the fork, it was on everything. But the color, it's like I can't get past the color. So that's the thing with these. They're supposed to be a liquid lipstick. I don't know as far as like the drying capacity or whatever. But I just, the color is amazing. So that's. Emreezy's Lipland collaboration in Montenegro. And moving right along, okay, you guys have probably heard H&M came out with a beauty section. Well, they already had like makeup and things like that, but they came out with um, other makeup in like a wide range. Foundations, powders, lipsticks, lip gloss, liquid lipsticks, eyeshadows, nail polish and I just wanted to say this nail polish I'm not wearing it today because I took it off not too long ago because I wanted to like trim my nails and things like that and but this shade is in smoky aubergine and I first heard about this when um Tati um mentioned her beauty haul and she had this shade on her nails and when I went online I could not find it they had other colors so by my job there's an H&M um, downtown Washington DC and surprisingly they don't have like a kids section but they have like women's and men's clothing and they had the beauty section they had all of the stuff aside from like the body washes and things like that so they had all everything so I was able to find Smoky Aubergine and the color is amazing I love the fact that all the polishes have the fat brush so it like covers most of your nails so you don't have to keep going over and over and over your nail to get every single corner and crevice of your nail but H&M polishes are amazing I want to go pick up some more I picked up three so this one and then like a burnt orange color for the fall and then like a grayish ashy gray color which I'm probably going to do next but 
H&M nail polishes and they're only like $5.99. You can't beat that for a good polish. Moving right along. Okay, this didn't come, this came out like not too long ago and I know you're probably thinking like this can't be a favorite, you just got it. But this is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette and the pack first of all the packaging is gorgeous it's gold you couldn't pass it up and it's like a nice compact eyeshadow palette and that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and the shadows like blended beautifully um I, I just couldn't I can't I love it I, I really like it okay now everybody was saying like oh it might not fit or the shades might be light for deeper skin tones but i mean if you know what you're doing with eyeshadows and things you can make it work and if you are a makeup artist you can have it in your kit and things like that so it's just a great palette to have and if you're a fan of Gwen stefani or you just like urban decay then you might want to pick it up but this is what the shadows look like sorry my way. Mama. are those not pretty and today on the eyes i have a combination of Okay, I have blackout on the outer V, and then I smoked it out, and then I used zone, which is right here. I, I don't want to do the mirror thing. This is zone, and I'll use that as a transition. Um, I used baby right here on the inner corner of the lid to bring it in and mix it in with everything else. And then I also used punk, which is just deep, like, reddish brown that I used also in a crease. And I use blonde, blonde, which is this state right here for the brow bone. And I, to me, I think it looks great. And then I ran punk underneath the lash line. So Mommy, I'm playing the game. Okay, I really, really like this palette. And I had to mention it, even though I didn't get it, but a couple of days ago and like did some little tests with it. But I really, really like it. It's something that you should definitely pick up for your collection, especially if you're an Urban Decay fan or even a Gwen Stefani fan. Moving right along. I'm trying to go in some type of order, but you know everything. I just want to mention this contour highlight. It's that highlight, though. Like, really, Crystal? Like. Ooh. And of course, I have to mention this. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood highlighter or well, illuminator, which looks like this. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's just, it's giving me life right now. It's giving my cheeks life. Like, you can't do anything about it. Oh, and my contour, I use the. Anastasia cream contour kit the deep one I don't know what my hair is doing I had little tendrils down yesterday and of course I didn't have my little stuff that I used to keep them like laid down so don't mind me I probably should put my ponytail down I don't know how this is looking you guys punk rock that's that's my little punk. but anyway moving right along um this is like a body lotion but I really wanted to mention this because I love the way it smelled smells and I got it like is it like August or whatever and I didn't break it out till like recently but this is by Bath and Body Works and it was the Georgia Peach Sweet Tea Body Lotion and like after a while like you start to like smell yourself and it just smells so good and refreshing and I usually don't like the body lotions from different places I only like the creams but this one is pretty really creamy and it has shea and vitamin E in it so, Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. It came in like in one of those kits, you know, when you buy the the bag because you purchase like $40 and you get the bag for like $25. It came in that. So, I was really pleased with that. Then, this baby right here. This is the Philosophy Love Swept Perfume Spray. Yes. And it smells, it smells lovely and it, it lingers. I'm going to spray it now. It just lingers on and it's like oh you could just eat it off of somebody if they had it on so you see why I'm wearing it but I really really like it philosophy love swept I got it from Sephora during Sephora sale I mentioned in the last video so that's pretty much it I don't think it's anything else that I want to mention that I haven't mentioned before um oh just another thing Justin Bieber CD purpose thumbs up I don't really usually listen to Justin Bieber. I mean, there's songs that I like that. Oh, yeah, go Justin. Um, when he was on the song with Trey Songz for a remix 
on Trigger Deluxe and I'm all about Trey songs. I've been that way for the longest when he first came out. And someone mentioned it, um, his CD. And I always like Sorry, the song that he came out with. I really like that one. So I decided to get the CD off of iTunes. Well, you know, now they have the, my, the music thing where you can like put music on your phone or whatever. And I listened to the whole CD and it's on point, let me say. Oh, I also want to mention my necklace. You guys can see it. But on it, it has these little coordinates. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. But it has these little coordinates. And it's actually the coordinates to the hospital where I had um, Jordan, which is actually in Columbia, Maryland. So those are the coordinates that I got on my necklace. And um, I heard of this brand from Coffee Break with Danny. And, of course, right now I'm having a brain fart and I can't think of the name. But I'll make sure I list it down in the description box. But I just love it. It's so dainty and cute. And it just represents me and how I feel about my baby and how much I love her. And I'm so glad that they have options out there for you to, like, use for different things. So, that's pretty much my favorites for today. Um, I mean the month of November and I'm going to try to get this up of course before the first because I'm filming it Sunday I'm going to try to get it up today probably won't be till later but I love you guys and thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video bye